All right, everyone, we're here with Ben Starr, the actor for Clive Rosfield in Final Fantasy 16. Ben, how's it going today? It's going pretty good. Uh, the game's coming out soon, so yeah. things are hotting up and it's quite exciting. It, this is like a game that we've been working on for such a long period of time. And yeah. the fact that we now get to share it with everyone is really, really special. So it's really cool to sit here with you and talk about it. Yeah, we're happy to have you. So there are a few questions I'd like to ask today. Okay. Kind of pick your mind. All right, so rapid fire. What does Final Fantasy mean to you? Final Fantasy is incredible worlds, deep, rich storytelling and emotional characters. And how excited are you for launch? I, I just, I just, I'm so excited. I can't even put into words and it has been the greatest honor of my life. What do you hope people feel when they play the game? I hope they will, I hope this game will allow people to maybe see a little bit of themselves in it you know i think games are at their most powerful when they make us better comprehend the world in which we live yes it's a fantastical setting but we go i recognize that and it helps us heal and it, it, it helps us be better so that's what i, I hope for. so you are a huge fan of final fantasy is that correct yes a big fan <laughs> so i would love to know how it felt for you as a fan of Final Fantasy to get to be the main protagonist in the latest Final Fantasy title? It uh, felt, is feeling, will feel for the rest of my life incredibly surreal. Um, this is a series that I, that changed my life when I was a kid and I was the person who would buy the special edition day one of every single copy after I played Final Fantasy VIII and from that point I've pretty much played all of them. So having a completely different perspective on this this franchise which means so much to me um understanding how much and how important it is to to so many millions of people out there and for people who've never played the game before to know that like this game could affect people the way that it affected me when i was 11 years old is something incredibly special so um i'm very very scared um, um but i'm also so excited to share it with everyone are you able to speak on the audition process, what that was like for you, what it was like to audition for the role and how yeah. you got that? Well, it it's all super secret when you audition for video games because you, they're code names on code names on code names. And I was just auditioning for a fantasy video game and I auditioned for a much smaller role. And I think I did about three lines uh, and I don't think I did them very well. And then the Tanoi went off and went, well, I've blown this there. Well, never mind, it's fine. And then I heard the performance director um, say, Ben, would you mind reading this? And I got um, a series of lines and I took a minute to just look at them and then I blind read them in one go. And I think it went quite well because three or four days later, I got the part in this video game, um, which I didn't know what it was. And then it wasn't until a couple of days later that they went, by the way, this is the game. And then I screamed into a pillow for about four days. Um, and then they went, by the way, you can't tell anyone about it. So it's been this, this secret for my friends, so many of whom have played these games as well, like me, and I've had to keep it from them. You know, they're excited for the game. I just see my friends liking videos on, on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, and, and I can't say anything. So uh, yeah, I've had to really keep it stum for a while. Yeah, but thankfully you're able to come out and talk about the fact that you voice Clive now. Yeah, it's 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 so special and the response from all the fans has been um, kind of the best part of it. I know this is a community um, who like completely adore this and to be to have to kind of be a custodian of the next protagonist. You know, there's that there's that um, image of the Dissidia um, protagonist all in a circle. And it's just like this iconic image of just like where we've been with this franchise and to know that Clive is gonna be the person who takes that forward. And they're like, oh Ben, do you wanna do, you wanna do that for us? And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. All right. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna screw it up. Um, but it's, it's, it's really cool and I can't wait to see how uh, people enjoy the game and how it affects them. You have a background in acting, but yeah. this is your first kind of big role in a video game. So what was that like for you to make the transition from traditional acting to voice acting? I think the kind of the, the we, we were allowed so much bandwidth in this. They There are a lot of actors in this game who actually don't do a lot of video games as well because they really wanted to get people from kind of a theatrical background or a, a film and TV background. And when we did the audition, it wasn't just um, into a microphone, we were filmed doing it. So they knew that the technology that we were using, we were gonna be using facial capture and so, it meant that the transition was probably a little bit easier. And over the four years doing it, I um, I learned a lot <laughs> because I, I really thought for the first couple of months that I was gonna get fired. Don't push yourself. Because I just didn't know what was going on. I just, I was really just, you know, 
it, imposter syndrome was at a complete high and i just thought this can't be real right this this isn't this isn't real and um i've 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 learned so much uh which i can take back into doing film and tv and and, and stage and it was just an opportunity also to work with people whose work i admire and often I, I would come into work and then I'd be acting opposite people whose, you know, whose films that I've seen and TV shows that I've seen. And I just can't believe that this has allowed me to, to do that. If you could think of a scene without getting into spoiler territory mm -hmm. that was really challenging for you to film, maybe emotionally, character wise, um, what was it like for you to get into that headspace and how did you conquer that? With some of the really emotional stuff that we had to do, I didn't think about it. Um, we would we would often get the opportunity to see some of the scenes beforehand and see how they were going to play out. But sometimes I would just say, why don't we just see what happens? And especially when you are emotional, you can't really fake it. Otherwise, it doesn't it doesn't work. So sometimes we would just have to jump in, <laughs> don't even think about where you're going and see where that takes you. And I think I'm so proud with what we've done here because I think there is so much raw honesty in that. And there are scenes in this game that were, were taken on the first take because we're like, we shouldn't really do that again because it felt really real. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. And that's really been what we've been pushing is kind of make it as real as possible. Yes, it's fantastical. Yes, there are these giant beasts. Yes, it's thrilling action. But also there is at a base level this honesty. And that's what we've really gone for. And, I, and I'm just the opportunity to, to play it, to see what we've done, to celebrate it and to go, oh, yeah, that was a moment in time when I was doing it that, yeah, that happened and that feels raw. That is an immediate thing. Last question I'd like to ask you today is kind of about if there were any moments of improv. Yeah, so I think that like with with this sort of thing, because the writing is so good, there isn't kind of that that width to improvise stuff. However, because in the recording process, we were able to, at times I was in the booth with Ralph, I was in the booth with Susanna, like we were able to create these relationships where stuff, if we'd done it separately, it just wouldn't have happened that way. And because there was that immediacy in acting with someone, which often in voice acting you don't get to do, um, so much stuff that is still in the game came out of those sections reads that you wouldn't really expect because they are just immediately reacting to a person right next to you and um it was a it was a really great kind of freeing thing to be able to to have that opportunity and even though you know that process wasn't able to continue right right through we built these amazing relationships at that moment um, that we could continue on and, and understand for the rest of the game